So a long time ago on this channel, I said that I wanted to use the vlogs to talk about opinions and issues and uh, thoughts related to Linux, you know, get topics going. I'm thinking that I'm going to do these kind of videos on Tuesdays. Maybe not every Tuesday, but when I have something I want to talk about, it's going to be on a Tuesday. And then Saturday's vlog will be like, hopefully behind the scenes stuff, hopefully other things, but mostly just, uh, you know, we'll see. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about software freedom and software pragmatism. Now, generally, when we talk about Linux users and people in the free software community and people who are really passionate about Linux and, and stuff like what I do, or, or uh, if you're a Linux YouTuber and you're watching this video or you're interested in Linux in some way and you're involved in the community, people like us. And uh, there are generally, like I said, there are generally two types of people. And these types of people are the Stalmanites, the people who think that free software is good no matter what and it has to be open source or it's evil and they will not use Triscoll and they won't use any uh, proprietary graphics, they won't use any uh, proprietary things and they have serious opinions on things like Google and uh, you know the list goes on. And then there are other people who just use Linux because they're hobbyists, they're enthusiastic about learning new stuff, they might not be super into open source, maybe they're more pragmatic. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about my thoughts on those two groups of people. Not that everyone is in these two groups, because you could be somewhere in the middle, but generally when we're talking about this uh, free software stuff, generally you either really resent the Stallman people or you really identify with them. Or maybe you're somewhere in the middle, like I said. Me, I'm in the middle. I used to be super hardcore pragmatic. I, I used to be super irritated when I listened to... Uh, Richard Stallman go on and on about stupid shit like uh, Skype is evil and and all this you know like uh, don't ever use a BIOS that's like not core boot or or don't use uh, certain computers that aren't fully open source the hardware. I always thought that was stupid, and the reason I thought that was stupid was because I think there's there needs to be a fine line between, and to an extent I still believe this, but I think that there needs to be a fine line between software freedom, you know, the freedom and pragmatics. And pragmatics is, okay, what's the best tool for the job? Now it just so happens that I'm, I've been using free software for coming on eight or so years now. I, I can never get an exact date. And when it comes to stuff like Photoshop, I, I, I never really liked Photoshop when I was a kid. I used it in school and I hated it and I was introduced to GIMP, which is an open alternative and I've used it ever since and I do everything that comes to this channel. I do a lot of graphics with that program. Same for KDN Live, like I use Final Cut Pro in high school for video editing. I used iMovie too and we used all these programs on Macs and I hated them. I used uh, Premiere Pro on Windows, hated them. I do all the content on this channel with KDN Live. I'm pretty good at editing with that, and even with the work that I do for Make Tech Easier, all the videos that I do are edited by myself in KDN Live before I pass it off to the editor who uses uh, Final Cut Pro. So everything that I do in workflow is with open source tools. But that being said, I am very pragmatic about it. And if uh, Final Cut Pro, if I were to actually like be interested in using it, or, or Premiere would probably be a better example. If Adobe tomorrow came around and decided, hey, we're going to port this over to Linux, I'd use it, because KDN Live, for as much as I use it, and as much as I do prefer it, it gives me tons of issues, and I would be willing, if it was on my preferred platform, to relearn something. So I'm pragmatic when it comes to that. I have no uh, aversion to these kind of software. So when I see the Salmon type people I used to get super resentful and super angry about it. Not like, oh, I'm going to rage, but I, I used to just really get upset about it. And then I started this YouTube channel. And some of the pragmatics that I talked about, like with editing and stuff, still exist. But ever since I ditched Google, and ever since I tried to change the way that I think about stuff, and try to be more open-minded about open source and get more active in the community, evangelize uh, the platform within my writings, my ebooks, and my videos, and my YouTube channel, and uh, here right now with you guys talking about this stuff, listening to podcasts about Linux and stuff, I've tried to be open source first, and I've tried to be more interested in uh, just open source technology and uh, try my best to find open alternatives and make it work. 
even if it's not as good. But I still, I still find myself resenting people like Salmon. So uh, a little bit uh, just disjointed, but I guess it's just a little bit of an evolution of, of myself. But so I guess the question of this vlog is, how do you feel about the open source uh, diehards? How do you feel about those people who are so passionate that it almost is kind of, it makes you wince? Or if you are one of those people and when someone says, hey, I if I could install Final Cut Pro to my Linux machine or I, I would use my NVIDIA graphics card proprietary drivers without uh, flinching or, or use Steam without flinching, how does that make you feel? And I realize that this is a disjointed format, but like I said, I wanted to just do an off-the-cuff talky vlog about some opinions that I have and get the comments going and uh, we'll go from there and I'll get better at these kind of things as they go. Please subscribe if you're new here. Hit the subscribe button down there. It helps me a lot and press like as well because it helps me a lot there too. Share this video if you liked it and be sure to tune in on Wednesday for the debut of the Linux news show and yes Adventures with Linux is coming back this Friday so lots of cool Linux content coming at you.